If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. To collect sales taxes in QuickBooks, you must indicate who and what gets taxed within your company file. So, in the customer job list, enter which customers are taxable and non-taxable on the Sales Tax Settings tab within the New Customer or Edit Customer windows. On this tab, select the default tax code for the customer from the tax code drop-down by choosing either Tax for taxable customers or Non for non-taxable customers. For taxable customers, then select the default sales tax to apply to their sales from the tax item drop-down. After that, you must also set the taxable and non-taxable status of the line items used within sales forms within the item list. When creating items in either the new item or edit item window within the item list, use the tax code drop-down to select either tax for taxable items or non for non-taxable items. QuickBooks can then show whether or not an item is taxable when you enter it into a sales form and will collect the appropriate taxes from taxable customers. At that point, you are then ready to collect sales taxes through the sales forms in QuickBooks like the Invoice and Sales Receipt form. We will examine collecting sales taxes when using these forms in Chapter 7, Basic Sales. We'll then examine the process for paying collected sales taxes in Chapter 14, Paying Sales Tax. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.